What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Barry McGuigan. Get this. Barry McGuigan states that Tyson Fury will get dominated by Alexander Usyk, let alone stopped by Alexander Usyk um, the next fight. He states that Tyson Fury's championship reign has come to an end. He states that his punch resistance is not where it used to be. He looked at his body sculpture and, 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 and his body language the first fight, and it didn't look good for the future. And let me counterpunch. <clears throat> predictions, predictions, predictions. Um, I predicted Alexander Usyk to beat Dyson Fury. Um, I didn't predict it to go the way it went. I predicted uh, Usyk to be faster, sharper, just better overall fighter than Tyson Fury because he trained more and he took it more seriously than Tyson Fury, you know, would take it. And I was right, but then I was wrong because that fight should have been stopped in the ninth round. However, what does it mean for Tyson Fury? Does he not have a chance? And I think he does. Based on the way that fight was fought, could Tyson fight a different way? Yes. Could Usyk fight a different way? In a way, he can. But I think his come forward style is a style that he may cling to because it, it worked for him in the future. What's not broke doesn't need to be fixed. But I also think that Tyson Fury... We'll do something different this time. You know, um, I don't believe in taking Tyson's word for stuff. He just has to show us that he can do it. You know, I can recall the first Wilder fight. And in the Wilder fight, he commenced on boxing and moving, staying out of the way of the right hand, jab, keep him far enough from the jab he had to reach so he could see the right hand coming. So when the right hand came, he could swerve it pretty easy. He didn't have to run into nothing unless he stayed stationary, which he did in 9 and 12. Okay, in the second fight, he crushed him because he said he would. Well, at the end of this fight, he said, well, I would have went and I would have done more had I been instructed to, had I not been told that I, that I was um, behind, you know, and I think it's an issue where Tyson needs to show us what he can do. You know, his punch resistance, I think he needs to give respect to any heavyweight that can punch. And I told you guys, if Otto Weiland can hurt Tyson Fury, Usyk could. And he did. They both did. It's just Usyk was able to catch Tyson Fury with you know, with what he had versus what Otto Weiland had. And that was really no comparison between Weiland and, and, and Usyk based on skill-wise. So his punch placement was a lot better than someone like Otto Weiland. Otto Weiland was sporadic and he caught him with a nice shot, you know, but understand he was leaking out of the face as well from blood. So I think that Tyson Fury needs to show us, and he has a lot to prove to a lot of people, including Barry McGuigan, that, hey, he can take punches. Hey, he can fight different. Hey, he does have a chance to win the rematch. Um, I think the fight was close, so if it was close, how can you not have a chance? That's my thing. I don't care who you are. If it was a good fight, if it was a fight to that magnitude, and you know it was a certain, it was like neck and neck until something happened, Okay, well, what if that something did not happen? Okay? But you guys tell me what you think of Barry McGuigan stating that Tyson Fury will be beaten quicker and maybe stopped this second time around. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!